the countries of the European Union will train 30,000 Ukrainian soldiers in 2023, as announced by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense on June 20. According to a statement released on Telegram, the ministry stated, in 2023, as part of the EU's military assistance mission to Ukraine, it is planned to train 30,000 personnel from the Ukrainian armed forces, including soldiers from the Territorial Defense Forces. The strategic objective is to enhance the capabilities of the Ukrainian armed forces for the effective conduct of operations, protection of sovereignty, restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity, and the safeguarding of civilians, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense wrote. This announcement comes on the same day as the European Commission's request to EU member states for a budget extension of 50 billion euros until 2027 to support Ukraine. We are in a completely different world than in 2020 when the EU's multi-annual budget was negotiated, explained Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, during a press briefing in Brussels on Tuesday. European nations, particularly those within the European Union, EU, and NATO, actively support Ukraine's defense sector through various training programs and initiatives. These training efforts primarily concentrate on enhancing the overall combat readiness, tactical skills, and operational capabilities of the Ukrainian armed forces. European countries contribute their expertise, knowledge, and resources to assist Ukraine in developing a modern, effective, and well-trained military that can effectively safeguard its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The training programs cover a wide range of areas, including basic military training, specialized training, command and control structures, military equipment and technology, as well as military exercises and joint operations. European partners help train Ukrainian soldiers in fundamental military skills, including marksmanship, physical fitness, tactical maneuvers, and discipline. This groundwork is crucial for establishing a capable and professional military force. Moreover, specialized training is provided to Ukrainian forces in areas such as counter-terrorism, special operations, logistics, medical support, and intelligence gathering. This specialized training enhances specific skills and operational capabilities. European countries also offer assistance in improving command and control structures within the Ukrainian military. This encompasses leadership development, decision-making processes, and the coordination of operations at various levels. Furthermore, training is provided to Ukrainian personnel on the operation and maintenance of modern military equipment and technology. This includes training on weapon systems, communication systems, armored vehicles, and other advanced equipment. To promote interoperability and enhance cooperation, European countries engage in joint military exercises and training exercises with Ukrainian forces. These exercises provide valuable practical experience in combined operations, while fostering greater coordination and cooperation among participating nations. The training efforts are typically carried out through bilateral agreements between Ukraine and individual European countries, or through collaborative programs facilitated by organizations like NATO. European military advisors, trainers, and instructors are often deployed to Ukraine to provide hands-on training and mentoring. It is important to note that the level and nature of European training support may vary among countries, depending on their individual policies, bilateral relations, and the security situation in the region. Nevertheless, the overall objective remains the same, to strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities and contribute to regional stability and security.